guys, so you must be wondering why I'm sat here with a towel on my head. Well, I am going to show you how I do my hair, seeing as so many of you have requested uh, this video. So I'm actually going to show you how I curl my hair and what I use. Um, so yeah, I've literally just washed my hair, done my makeup, and I've had my hair in a towel the whole time. I'm going to start with putting a heat protector in there, and I've got a Tresemme heat defense. Um, it's up to 230 degrees Celsius protection. It's also a styling spray, so it's a two-in-one. I like to spray my roots more so, uh, my ends more so, because that's where my hair is the most dry. Um, so I want to protect that the most. I also want to spray the roots because that's where you're going to get your healthy hair. So you want to keep it healthy. So um, yeah, that's all sprayed through. I'm going to take a big fat paddle brush, oh god, and brush through it. Just so that the product spreads through my hair. And I'm drying my hair with my Remington hair dryer. I keep the nozzle on the end because I do have quite frizzy hair and naturally it's curly if I wash it, sleep on it. Um, but with this, it will make it straight when I dry it and keep less of the frizz out um, so it makes my job a little bit easier when I want to style it. So the way I curl my hair is by using straighteners and the straighteners that I use are Coriolis um, I don't actually know which model these are because I got them for my 18th birthday which was four years ago now and my maths is really bad, don't laugh. Um, four years ago so um, they're going strong still, touch wood. I haven't got wood around me, but yeah, touch wood, I've never had a problem with them, they've been amazing, they've travelled with me everywhere, um, I love them to bits, I don't think I would be able to cope without them. So I just switch them on at the side here, and there should be a little red light flashing, yeah, there is, um, and I put them at 210 degrees, which is the highest temperature on the straighteners, um, and that is because I have quite thick hair, quite frizzy hair, and um, it's just quicker when it's a higher temperature. Oh my god, you're like a cave girl with this hair. So what I do is I literally just brush through with my paddle brush, split it in two. I just start from the back. So I just take a section, it doesn't matter really how big they are, and I just straighten the top bit, and then as I get to the middle, I like to curl it. Um, and it looks like that. You want to make sure the chunks that you're getting aren't massively big, but big enough. Like an inch maybe, inch and a half. So again, straightening that bit. And then, from the top, sort of, start twisting, pull through. When you start pulling, that's when you really get the curl. And then look, you get more so of the curl at the end. But you're still getting a nice wave from where you started. So it's bringing like, as you can see, it's bringing like the body into the hair and into that section. So that once it's all curled and once it's done, your hair's not just got curls at the bottom and straight at the top. It's smooth at the top, going into some body, going into some curls. So that is why I started a bit higher up. But yeah, I'm just going to carry on with this. Okay, so when I get to this last front bit, I have about that much hair, what I like to do is just split it into two, straight down the middle, and then 
then with these last two bits, sorry, I'm just looking over here because that's where my mirror is, I don't want to burn myself. And I curl it outwards so the tongs are going inside, but I'm taking it up and out like that. And then with this front bit, especially, I am straightening it up. I have loads of baby heads, by the way. Taking it in and out so that you get like a nice sort of wave there and it sits nicely like so. So I'm just going to do the other side. Okay, so now I'm on the last bit on this side of my hair. I'm just going to brush through, split it into two again, two equal bits. And on this side, I am going to take it up again. Ooh. And then I'm going to curl it inside and out again. So again, for the last bit, we want to get it symmetrical to the other side, hopefully as much as we can. So again, straightening it up. Also, because I have baby hairs here, I want them to blend in with the rest of my hair. And then I'm going to curl it in and out. And there we have the body. So this is how I like my hair to sit. So the front bit sits swooped like that. I do have quite shorter layers here um, and different lengths in my hair but um, this is yeah this is how I like it. Um, it's really easy, really quick. I obviously do hairspray it. I use the VO5 high volume extra strong hold. It's weather resistant hairspray which is handy because it is always raining in England so you need something that is going to keep your hair uh, in place even when it's raining so I just spray that lightly one more thing I like to do and this is sometimes right now I'm okay with it um, just to give me an extra bit of volume here at the roots I use a brush like this and it's by Denman again pink what I do is just take front section like that and back comb just to give myself extra bit of boost in like volume at the front of my hair at, um, sorry at the front of my head so that I don't look really flat here um, I don't mind it being flat at the back but at the front I like it just to lift a bit um, again to give it more shape so I think yeah that looks a bit better now and um, so that is how I do my hair um, I hope you enjoyed seeing that um, if there are any other hair tutorials you'd like to see them please comment below and let me know please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below let me know what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe Mwah. bye